Hello, it's Denise from Minty Green Mama, and I uh, just wanted to try to do a video today. It's been such a long time since I've done a video. I have had a lot of stuff going on, and every time I sat down to try to do a video, um, it just didn't feel right. Like, because I was just, there was so much stuff processing in my mind, like trying to verbalize something or just have a coherent thought sometimes was challenging. Um, because I have been on this year, a very intense, uh, like spiritual growth, like personal growth journey, health journey, like I have like, and that's another whole separate thing is like a bunch of health issues that kind of cropped up lately that kept me from even having the energy to make a video. And so it's kind of all coalesced into um, what I want to talk about today, which is kind of like a depth year update and uh, me letting go of a bunch of my stuff. And why I'm doing that, just in case it helps somebody else out there, um, it definitely helps me like explaining it to myself, basically. Um, I have been doing depth year, um, but this was something that I have been working on for a lot longer than just this year. I have been trying to, I mean, I, I want to say it's like a shopping addiction, but it's more than that. And or maybe there are just other reasons, you know, behind it. But I have always enjoyed buying things. I love shopping. I like to get new things. I like to see the new things and hold them and have them. And it's great while I'm buying it. And it's great for a little bit after that. And then this, a lot of the stuff I buy kind of loses its luster and it just kind of goes by the wayside or the books get put on the shelf or the decks get put in a cabinet and I don't use those. Sometimes I do. Sometimes it's a, something that I really truly wanted and I buy it and I use it. I'm very happy with it. It's not every single purchase but um, that that happens to me a lot or it has you know happened a lot and not just for the last few years, but for a long time. But I'm equally good about letting things go. I mean, I've gone through so many different times where we've been moving or I just want to clear stuff out and I just, you know, get a bunch of stuff and donate it or, you know, whatever. And I'm fine with that. And with very few regrets, there's a few things that, especially like there's been a few tarot decks that I've repurchased and, and a couple other things that I'm like, oh, I wish I hadn't gotten rid of that. But no, no regrets so big that keeps me from from really clearing out stuff however um part of this depth year i i wanted to try to not just give away more things um which i want to do but also try to figure out why it is that i continue to purchase things that i don't use because if i was just purchasing things that i use there would have if, if, as long as I was within my budget, there wouldn't be a problem. It's the fact that I will purchase things that I don't end up using. And that was more disturbing to me. And that's why, what I wanted to kind of look at and focus on and, and think about while I was doing this stuff here. And I've been doing a lot of that. And um, a journey that I'm on <laughs> in my life is to try to, I'm, I'm, trying to go towards a more zero waste lifestyle. That's a very high and lofty goal and I'm nowhere close to that. Um, but it is something that I, I'm trying to do and to be more conscious of the earth and using you know, resources. And, you know, instead of just mindlessly consuming things like why are, <laughs> why are the vegetables in the store like on a styrofoam tray and wrapped in plastic and why do I have to buy them that way? Why can't, you know, I buy things more sustainably, like just things like, questions like that, you know, and that's kind of my day-to-day -day life, a journey that I'm on, which is kind of filtered down to uh, my spiritual life and my, my depth here as it kind of refers to my, like, purchasing tarot cards and books and crystals and spiritual tools. And I've noticed that, um, I've noticed that I've been purchasing things. Well, one, it makes me feel important. It makes me feel important to buy things. Um, 
or maybe it makes me feel special to have certain things or it makes me feel important that I am, you know, I'm a purchaser, you know, I'm, I'm buying it. Like, I don't know. Like, and then it also, um, besides that, like, it makes me feel, you know, connected to other people that are having the same experience. Like other people are buying that deck and I buy that deck and then I, you know, I like share the same experience and then that's great, you know? And, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like that's, that's fun for people that don't have an issue with, with accumulating things they don't use. Like that's a fun experience. But for me, um, it's been, it's, how, <laughs> and see, I still struggle. I thought I had this down. Like I thought I had, you know, figured out like how to verbalize what I've been thinking about, but, um, I still struggle. Like, and still, it's still a process, but I realized that I am honestly happier when, um, I'm not buying so many things when I don't accumulate so much stuff, when I have fewer decks to work with, I am legitimately happier. Like that is, I can see what I have. I don't feel overwhelmed. Like I can use the things I have. And I've tried putting things in a container and putting it like in the garage and stuff. And that just wasn't working for me. Like I just want to own fewer things because it, it clears, it's, it's like clearing a space in my life and the health issues that I have, like feeling fatigued and, and all this stuff. I mean, I think part of it is, is stress. Stress is a big thing for me. I have three small children and a lot of them are going through some sort of a daily fit phase. I don't know. Not a lot of them, uh, two out of three, all three. I don't know, depending on the day, you know, there's, there's fussing, there's fighting, you know, there's all that. And it is stressful. And my spiritual practice, I feel like, should be allowing me to, you know, think about things and puzzle out certain concepts and, you know, incorporate like meditations and things to help me like release that stress. And if I, <laughs> if for me personally, having too much, um, too many decks, too, too many books, too many crystals to work with, like too much stuff, if, if my having that is not helping me and it's actually making me feel a little bit more overwhelmed. Like that's something that I had to change. And so, um, I have been going through my decks and I have been, um, just picking out the ones that really resonate with me, not just on a, I love the artwork because there's so many decks where I love the artwork. And if I just bought every deck that I loved the artwork, I would own like all the decks, like, well, not that many, but I would own a lot of decks just to sit there and look at. And that's great, but I don't, I don't own tarot decks just for the art. Like I want to be able to use them. That's just my personal path. And so decks that I, where I like the artwork or like the artwork and they really connect with me or they just connect with me. Like I, just in some way, I feel like I can work with them and use them and put them to good use. And those are the ones I'm keeping. And a few that have just sentimental value. And this could all change. Um, I have decks coming in from Kickstarter that I've backed and, you know, I might buy a couple of other decks here and there, but not the quantity. <laughs> Cause I've been buying things in like quantity. Like I am, amazed at how many decks and books and things that, that I purchase and and yeah and not and I haven't read so I don't know if you can see here behind me on the floor I've gotten a lot of books that I am uh, letting go and a bunch of oracle cards I have my tarot decks already in a bag. I have like my little list um, the, <laughs> that I put together. I have like over 30 tarot decks that I'm finding another home for. I actually have a couple of oracle decks that I think I'm going to give away on this channel. It's like a giveaway because I thought, hey, if I'm already trying to find some new homes for them. And some of them are so wonderful and the artwork is beautiful and everything about them is really great. But if I just don't use them for reading, then I'm going to find a new home for them, you know, maybe with somebody that will be able to appreciate them. So um, that has just really, 
when I think about letting the things go and having fewer things, I thought that it was going to make me anxious. It, it did for a while because I had been kind of playing around with this idea. Like, and I do have like kind of a fear of what if I get rid of that and I can't get it again or, you know, if it, it goes out of print and I, I won't be able to have it or, you know, there's a couple decks I'm getting rid of that are out of print. And I'm like, I'll never be able to find them again if I change my mind. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm just okay with that. <laughs> just okay with that that's fine um just the thought now of freeing up the space because uh, not only do i have did i have books on all the bookshelves behind me i have like some bookshelves over um on the wall over here and um that you can't really see and they're full of books and then the floor <laughs> has a few piles of books on it um and then i have more upstairs so just the thought of like maybe not having like piles of books all over the floor and just having books that I've either read and I plan on reading again or using for reference or books that I do want to read, you know, books that I want to have to refer to, like just having things that I use, like that just makes me happy and excited now. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted, that's, that's kind of all I wanted to say. I just feel like sometimes in society today um and not just with tarot cards like then this isn't like really just a tarot thing but like just in society i feel like the emphasis is on consuming it's a very consumer driven society um everywhere you look everywhere you look there's an ad for something it's just even in my email you know there's there's ads and it's just not even like the promotional emails like actual ad you know and it's just it just gets to me sometimes i'm like everybody's trying to get me to buy something and it just feels like you're not important unless you are purchasing something like purchasing something gives you a power and that makes you important and if you're not purchasing then like you are just not a good member of society like you're not contributing like you know that kind of thing and that's not true um, I, I really do believe that that's not true. You know, un, like my, I feel like in my subconscious somewhere that that um, that need to purchase was there and it still is there, and I'm still working with that. But I, I truly believe that that we don't all need to be purchasing things in order to be a wonderful, you know, person and a member of society that has something to contribute, like you don't have to buy things. And I, I feel sometimes the message is, you know, just buy, 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 get this, get that, get this new thing, you know, throw that thing out because it's old. And, or, you know, I don't know, like it just, that's just like <laughs> a message that I feel is almost ubiquitous sometimes. And so I feel like I just wanted to say, I'm going to be kind of trying to step out somewhat of the the consumer based, you know, <laughs> um, trend. Like trying, I'm going to try to be able to think of things, you know, to do and to talk about on this channel that doesn't involve like unboxing all the time or buying things. Um, even though I love those, I I love those so much. And that's one of my favorite things to do, but I just feel like, you know, I'm I'm just moving on and I'm actually getting rid of some things and it's just been a big step for me. And so um, that is my <laughs> my my rambly little uh, update, depth your update thing for for today. And I hope to be back doing some more videos. Um, soon uh, i do still want to do reading with playing card series and that's kind of what i'm working on now so i um will talk to you later and i hope you're having a good weekend wherever you are and talk to you later then bye